Good afternoon. So I guess I am between you and lunch. But I'll uh, make sure that I make it value add as well as uh, you know, talk about application security and how in open source projects uh, you could uh, play, take the same playbook which we are trying to use at uh, Comcast. And uh, one of the responsibilities which I have at Comcast is to drive cloud security. And that's the focus of my talk today. So one question, and I hope the answer is different than Jim's question on Oscars. How many of you have seen any of the movies, How to Train Your Dragon, or read the book? OK, more than three. <laughs> so so uh, you know, and how is this relevant to my talk here? So uh, training, uh, this movie is actually a tale about three things. Uh, growing up, maturing, and how is that relevant to us? Maturing with respect to developing our uh, cloud uh, solutions and deploying them securely. The second uh, aspect of this movie is about finding the courage to face the unknowns. And that's about uh, preparing for dealing with security issues in the cloud as we develop and deploy them. And the third part, which is actually a very important part of this uh, movie, which you know, kids really take away from it, is how nothing can ever train us to let go. And that's about governance in the cloud. And you know, when uh, this movie was coming out, uh, I think the third uh, uh, in the sequel and the trilogy so far was released on February 22nd when I was putting together my uh, topic stuff for this uh, presentation. And I thought it was very relevant to the world of cloud security. So what we started uh, our approach in cloud security was about two years ago. And we looked at, we started looking at trends. And I think these trends are very relevant from uh, any applications, whether it is in open source or in any uh, proprietary or public cloud implementation. And uh, the first, uh, chart which we look here uh, here is about total IT infrastructure spends, whether you have uh, data centers, the, tra the traditional data centers, or the public and private cloud. And this year, it's forecasted that the public and private cloud spend will go, uh, will overtake the traditional data center spend. And uh, so basically, the story here is cloud is important. It's more relevant, right? Uh, second part about is when you deploy in the cloud, what are the challenges? So when we look at the survey, the you know it's a I think this one is from Right Scale uh, survey, where uh, they asked what are significant challenges and somewhat of a challenge to the various enterprises, and if you look, security is at the top, along with managing cloud resources, building a private cloud, deploying it, but security was considered as a top challenge, and it continues to be a top concern for everybody deploying in the cloud. The third part is about challenges which is related to maturity. Uh, you know, as you begin, security was one of the uh, you know, largest concerns for the people who were deploying in the cloud. As you become an intermediate category of maturity, it becomes kind of less, but still not the very end. And then as you become an advanced uh, deployer of cloud technology, it becomes again a pretty high uh, um, uh, like concern because of scalability issues, et cetera. So for us, all three, uh, you know, managing costs, security, and compliance, being in the internet service provider industry, it was very important. And we don't want to be in the news for the wrong reasons. So uh, we had to come up with an approach internally. And you know, like all engineers, we took a six-pronged approach. You, know, you had to have a uh, method to the madness. So we used a industry standard framework, and I'll go over into each of these six prongs in a little bit of detail, but uh, the six prongs are uh, user framework to identify where we are and what are the gaps. And uh, we used a NIST framework, which is very appropriate for the, from the world of security. We defined a overall reference architecture, which will make everybody in the world, whether they're product developers, application developers, or the cloud architecture and deployment teams, the SRE teams, they will, you know, we all have a common language to talk about. And then we take that security framework and architecture and uh, deploy a SOAR, which takes all the events and then uh, orchestrates security actions. And then we have to be prepared for security events because come what may, however uh, large your uh, an automation uh, 
tool set be, however prepared you are, you'll never be prepared for any, uh, you know, you have to be prepared for the security events. And with this tooling that we developed, we made sure that we are going to work with the development teams to embed it in their CI CD pipelines. As you know, we heard in the open source world, there are thousands and thousands of CI CD pipelines. And even in, within Comcast, we have several CI CD pipelines. And all of this could not be done and cannot be done without uplifting the skill sets of a traditional cybersecurity organization. You know, we've had a cyber, uh, you know, we've, uh, we are a 50 year old company. We've had a security organization for several years, but with the cloud implementations, with our developers using the cloud, we have to change their mindset and how do we uplift their skills. So that's our overall approach, and I'm going to go uh, you know, uh, in details with that. So the framework that we used was the NIST framework, which consists of the identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. All of you may be familiar, some of you may be familiar with this. It's a pretty standard framework. And then we took a, you know, assessment of where we are. You know, we had a lot of manual processes which you know, come to hand when we have security incidents or uh, you know, we do our governance in the cloud. And we had started off on our automation journey. So the box on the top talks about the automation that we've done, and the box on the bottom is manual processes. Not everything needs to be automated, but those are the areas where we have. You know, uh, we are a heavy user of AWS. We have OpenStack, we have Cloud Foundry, we have Kubernetes, we have a lot of open source software which is deployed. We have a lot of public clouds which are proprietary which are deployed. So, uh, and we created a backlog of where we want to be in the future. So this is the, in the all the yellow stuff is where we want to be in the future. And, uh, you know, and we've already started on this journey from last year. Uh, and uh, you know, some of the things which you will see around the detect piece, we had, uh, we were using AWS's guard duty and then cloud checker, cloud trail, all these eventing uh, mechanisms which will help us detect what the issues are. But we also started using Netflix's uh, security monkey, uh, which was you know, deployed earlier, but we were not really using it, but we you know, did all our cost uh, and risk analysis, and we said, okay, we're going to use Security Monkey moving forward, and then feed it into our the SIM databases as well as the security uh, orchestration and automation uh, response tools, the SOARS. And uh, we are, uh, you know, debating how we do the automatic uh, automated remediation using the automation that we are doing because uh, it should not break something else. And uh, if you look. Uh, you know, the world of security in our uh, organization, we, cho we are choosing not to make it, uh, uh, you know, uh, constraining, a very um, protective uh, method of security, but we are trying to make it more reactive. And when we say reactive, it's not in a negative way. We give the power to our developers, and we want them to be able to uh, take, uh, you know, give them the power to do the right, uh, use the services in the public cloud or the private cloud. However, teach them, uh, get them certified on security principles so that they don't make the mistakes. And then we have tooling which will detect any issues as they come forward. So if I move to the next slide, it talks about that architecture. So what we do here is, uh, you know, you have all the event sources I talked about in the previous slide about, you know, a cloud checker, a guard duty, um, uh, CloudWatch, all these events are basically going to feed it into a normalizer, a set of uh, no, uh, event, you know, uh, principles which will normalize against any misconfigured databases or any uh, issues which could cause security incidents. Then we correlate them to other events which have occurred in the past and then create a reaction uh, which may have notifications or may need some automatic remediations. And we also will create dashboards, and this is uh, architecture which we are working towards. We've got some parts of it implemented, and uh, you know, we see great promise in this. And uh, all these events as they collect, you know, SIM and SOAR are very standard industry standard terms. SOAR is relatively new. It was created by Gartner a couple of years ago. But the first set of three boxes is about uh, events which come out of our uh, uh, cloud implementations, and whether it's Amazon or it's uh, Azure or OpenStack or VMware, uh, you know, we've got all, you name it and we've got it, and uh, we collect them into a SIM repository, correlate them, and then we send them to a source system. 
and the source system today uh, is uh, uh, mostly homegrown automation, but we are now uh, going to be using Domesto, which is a capability that we're uh, integrating with, and uh, that helps us make uh, our operations more uh, effective, efficient, and more, you know, brings better quality into it. And, you know, Sims uh, correlated, it tells you what the problem is, but the SOAR helps you, uh, you know, in the traditional world, SOAR was done mostly manually. And now with the automation, you can do it much faster and make it more efficient. And we don't want the, you know, with the reactive uh, architecture, we, you know, when we are uh, finding issues, we don't want the traditional security organization to take their time to react. So with SOAR, you can react much more quickly. So now that we are prepared for, uh, you know, with all the tooling, we need to be preparing for our security events. This is one of the uh, pictures from the How to Train Your Dragon. So I ha since I was talking with that topic, I had to take a picture from there. And DreamWorks is a Comcast company, so there's that plug for them. So, uh, you know, with all the tooling that you may have, uh, with all the automation, with all the uh, guardrails that we may build, that's all technology. You need to have some sort of processes, some interactions between the various parts of the organization which deal with the technology. So the Cloud Center of Excellence, which consists, is a virtual construct, which consists of people from the cloud architecture team, the cloud SRE team, and uh, the security team and the network team. They are the people who actually run the cloud and keep it running securely. Then you have the product teams, the developers, who are actually developing our Comcast uh, set of products. Uh, and they use, our, uh, they use our infrastructure through, whether it's Amazon or uh, AWS or Azure or you know, any of the private cloud implementations that we have. But uh, in case of an incident, that's, we all need to come together. We have a product security incidents response team, which works with uh, you know, the researchers in the security world. They contact us or through our bug bounty program or through any other uh, research and uh, analysis that they've done. Uh, they bring those issues to us, to the C uh, cloud center of excellence or to the product teams, and then we work together. And then we have a threat intelligence team, which needs to work together, which is the security forensics. And of course, AWS or Microsoft or uh, you know, the community with, when it's OpenStack. And of course, the first line of support is the Security Fusion Center where we respond uh, you know, at the fastest process. So in all six of these bodies need to work together and that's where we are, uh, you know, where uh, in order to work together, training needs to occur. We've been working uh, with the, methodology that we've developed over the years. But with, especially with the architecture that we are deploying and the automation that we are deploying, if you're not able to use it, we will be still using the same uh, old method of uh, communications, uh, calling and sending emails to the uh, folks when an issue arises. So we wanted to make it much more faster recovery to the issues that we see. So that's where we are prepared for the security incidents now. Once we, as I said, we've got the tooling, we've got the process, how do we uh, make sure that our developers are building things right? So we want to embed all the uh, tooling into their CI CD pipelines, become a component of their test uh, gauntlet. So you know, whether uh, when, when they're doing the unit development, you'll see that uh, the security uh, scanning is part of the gauntlet. And when they're making the final release, Again, security scans and assessments are part of the full security scans are part of the gauntlet. So we're working with the various product teams to in, ensure that security is part of uh, the development life cycle. And then, you know, uh, we know that security training is important for our works, uh, cloud training is important for our security workforce. And even in the industry, if you look, that uh, the infrastructure headcount changes uh, with respect to hosting, storage, network, uh, hosting in the cloud, as well as security. Uh, security is pretty much up at the top. Then uh, so many new people are joining the industry uh, and not all of them are trained to work uh, on security principles. Not all of them are trained to work in the cloud. So uh, we need to uplift the skills of our workforce. And that has been a huge focus. And I think whether you're working on uh, in, in an industry where you're developing products or you're working in the open source community, it's fairly important to uplift the skills and keep, the, keep it going. And 
bringing it back together. That's where we have, uh, you know, uh, we bring it back together with the train training of people is the most important, and uh, developing the tooling is, you know, the building blocks of getting it together. So that's when you are. Uh, our character, who's the main character in the movie, is got all of the tra against trained and take, uh, ready to take off and deal with the world of security. And that's what I have. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.